Hello, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Go ahead and put. Yes, I can hear you. Do we let everyone? Do we let everyone? Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our How to Write a Conference Abstract for the WRHC Conference. We are students in the UNM WRHC Conference Planning Committee. Okay, this is our agenda for today. Here's what we're going to talk about. Who we are, why submit your work, what is an abstract, where will my abstract be published, categories and description, how is the description different from the abstract, All right, so our theme for the conference is revolutions and constellations, the dawning of new paradigms. Um, it is hosted um, again by students at the University of New Mexico Honors College. Um, and down here is a photo of us, our class. Behind the scenes about us, we are a group of honor students with diverse interests and backgrounds at the University of New Mexico. Through a two semester honors seminar course, each of us brings our insights to realize the 2022 Western Regional Honors Council Conference. About the theme, our theme for the Western Regional Honors Council Conference 2022 is Revelations and Constellations, the dawning of new paradigms. We believe that it is essential now more than ever to have conversations about change, new ideas, and innovation. Looking back to the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are likely view it as the new start to a new way of working, interacting with our loved ones, and experiencing the world. New ideas seem to be more plentiful and more accepted and innovative. Innovation is keeping us on our feet. Join us as we explore these topics and our theme deeper throughout the conference. So why the 2022 WRHC conference? The 2022 WRHC conference provides a unique platform for you to engage in innovative conversations of galactic proportions hosted at New Mexico's flagship university. Not only will you only not only will you have the chance to present your studies, share ideas and build CVs, but also the time to connect with like-minded peers and faculty. Planned to be held in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the conference allows for a one-of-the-kind travel opportunity to the Southwest. Explore the land of enchantment hospitality with a stay at the beautiful Hotel Andalus located downtown. As a student-focused conference, the 2022 WRHC conference is a fantastic site to discover potential career and professional paths. Join us, um, discuss and network to discuss or to see what exciting opportunities await you. Our call for papers, we gladly invite all students, faculty, and staff of honor colleges or programs from the Western region to join our academic constellation. We welcome proposals for revolutionary poster presentations or presentations or workshops for the upcoming 2022 Western Regional Honors Council Conference, Revolutions and Constellations, the Dawning of New Paradigms. The proposal may be related to the theme or on any topic of your choice. This year's conference will be held in our enchanting city of Albuquerque, New Mexico. This will be an opportunity to present your research and represent your college or university. The conference will occur April 8th through 10th, 2022. Applications will be considered for those who are current students, faculty, and staff members of an honors program or college within the Western region. So now we're gonna talk about parts of an abstract. So an abstract typically includes five major parts, a problem or topic, a gap in literature, your project, material covered in paper, presentation, et cetera, and your argument. And so this is one example of an abstract. 
and we'll give you some time to go ahead and read through this on your own. Does anyone have any questions? And please feel free to use the chat box so we can answer any questions that you may have. So Brian asks if you guys could go back to the previous slide. And then here's another example of an abstract. Um, go ahead and use the chat box once you're ready uh, or once you gave it a read and let us know when you finish and we'll give you another minute or two. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on. So conference categories. We welcome the following types of presentations. Constellations, poster presentations, supernovas, workshops, meteor showers, oral presentations. Does anyone have any questions? Constellations, the poster presentations. The poster presentation session will be an interactive event in which individuals or groups of two present the research on posters. The recommended poster size is 24 by 36 inches and shall be a professional conference quality. Presenters should be prepared to answer any challenging questions regarding the research. Our next category, supernovas, are workshops. Um, the workshop, workshop sessions will consist of presenters teaching various skills to attendees through hands-on training, spirited discussion, and active learning. Each workshop can be as formal or informal as the speaker desires. Interactive materials are welcome, but will not be provided. Meteor showers, oral presentations. Meteor showers um, will be in 50 minute sessions with 15 minutes per presenter. The oral presentation sessions will allow presenters to discuss and show their research. 
The presentation may include audio or visual aids, and presenters will be organized into panels based on research similarity. If you have a predetermined panel, please note that in your form. And if you have any questions at all about our categories, go ahead and drop them in the chat or um, unmute and ask. So um, parts of an abstract, an abstract typically includes five major parts. So the first part is it's a problem or a topic, the gap in literature, your project, the material covered in paper presentation, and the argument itself. Would anyone like to um, start with this first abstract and see what the main topic of this abstract is? Any volunteers? So the pro So the main topic and um, the main topic of this abstract is that it's about exploration of migrant experiences in the representation in El Norte. So if we can give me the problem or topic. So the problem or topic of this abstract, yeah, I already said that. Um, so then the next, so out of the five parts, that is the problem or topic. Uh, the gap in the literature, does anyone want to do the gap in the literature? Any volunteers? Anyone thinks, anyone knows what they think the gap in literature is? Like what is new about this literature? So Everett says that there is a gap of consistent and positive representation. That is correct. So then the next part of the abstract is your project. Does anyone know what the, your project is in this abstract? What does this project do? What is the thesis? Is what it's what the third part of this is asking. So the, your project in this is that in, in director Gregory Nava's expression of the experience has had when working to build a prospectively better life in the United States told through the trials and tribulations of the Guatemalan characters. Um, it, there is also a great artistic expression of injustices known to take place in all facts of crossing the US-Mexican border as well as the perceptions of the weight of prejudice they face. And then the fourth part of the abstract is materials covered in paper and presentation. Does anyone want to take a look at this? This one's pretty clear. It is based off the um, movie and off the film. And then the last part of the abstract is the argument. Does anyone know what the argument is?
So Reina says there is a great importance to discussion of El Norte's impact on Latinx experience in film and history. And that is very correct. Okay, so now we're going to walk through and do the same thing for the second example. Um, so what is the problem or topic in this example? Okay, perfect. Okay, and what is the gap in literature in this example? So in this one, since it is um, a workshop, there may not be a gap in literature, but um, we can ask, what are they addressing? And Everett, your um, answer to that one is correct. Um, and so um, for number three, what is the project? And so that would also be creating an online course. Um, so number four, material covered in the paper and presentation, um, which would be a workshop. And number five, the argument. So since this is a workshop, they don't really have an argument. They're going to be using the um, software storyline and demonstrating how to use it. So our abstract requirements, it's going to be up to 300 words plus a 50 word description of your project for the conference program. So for your description, you can use parts of your abstract and summarize what you've explained in your abstract. And then for your description, it will go into the conference program. So for our submission deadline, um, submissions did open on November 1st, and the deadline to submit proposals is on December 3rd. Um, so we are excited to update applicants with information on our website, which is wrhc.unm.edu. And please email wrhc2022 at unm.edu with any questions. So now we are done with the first part of the workshop and now we're gonna move on to the second part, which is going to be helping you guys start the abstract. And if you guys have any questions, um, let us know. So again, the five major parts are the problem of the topic, the gap in literature, your project, materials covered in paper, presentation, and your argument. We will give you guys about five minutes to jot down um, some notes for each of the five parts, and then um, you guys can begin working on your abstract. Mm -hmm. 
And in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to chat us and we'll get back to you guys. Okay, everyone. Um, so we are going to go ahead and stop sharing our screen. Um, so just one last chance to go ahead and jot this down if you have not already. So I hope everyone has um, some ideas of what they wanna talk about and everything. We're just gonna call on some people to um, ask about what your topic is and what you have so far. So, so let's see, Brian from UNLV, would you like to tell us what your um, problem or topic is? Uh, hi, I'm, I'm just a uh, faculty member sitting in and just making notes. So thanks. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Everett, would you like to tell us what your topic is? Yeah, um, I haven't really finalized my abstract yet, just because I've been a little bit shaky on what I would want to submit, but I think I'll probably um, 
submit one of my papers that I've written as an analysis on a book called Heart About Salon by Rodolfo Rud Anaya. Um, so I just need to finalize my abstract, but I think that's what I'm going to talk about. Perfect. And you said that you haven't decided on if you're going to submit a poster or um, a workshop or an oral presentation? Um, it would be an oral presentation, yeah. Nice, nice. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Saidia, Saida, Saidi, Saidi, Sandoval. Would you like to share what your topic is? Um, it's not, it's okay. Um, Camden, would you like to share? Um, I was thinking about talking about like, um, I don't even know how to word it, like Hawaiian sovereign, sovereignty and like, um, how, I don't know if you've ever heard of this artist, but like IZ or Israel, Israel Kamika Vivo Ole. He's like, he's very famous for singing um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a cover of it. But I was thinking of talking about like his contribution to wine sovereignty as a movement, um, probably like an essay. So, yeah. Nice, nice. And let's see. Um, I think. I call it, oh, Adrian, Adriana. Would you like to share what you have as your topic? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, yeah, my topic is on um, relationships during COVID-19, really looking at like the economic, social, and like public health consequences on intimacy and satisfaction and so have you decided if you're going to submit a poster a workshop or an oral presentation yet i'm leaning towards a poster presentation but i wouldn't be opposed to doing an oral presentation as well okay nice nice and lastly to ask about a topic and then we'll move on to the other ones. Um, Mariah, do you have any topic you'd like to ask about? I do. So I just wanted to let everybody know, since this is being recorded, that faculty um, are invited to present and submit, well, submit and present as well. Um, so I will be um, submitting a panel uh, on study abroad on our study abroad program here at UNM Honors College. Um, and so that would be a panel under oral presentations. Nice, perfect. Does anybody have any questions on um, the parts of the abstract for your topic? Or just questions about the conference in general? So our theme this year is um, Revolutions and Constellations, the Dawning of New Paradigms. And with that being said, there's a lot that we don't know. So it's kind of up to your interpretation. The Dawning of New Paradigms, like shifting new paradigms, new ideas and everything. And with Revolutions and Constellations, we kind of wanted to centralize our theme around those two main themes. So we kind of con our conversations about change, new ideas, innovation. And with space, it's like new ideas, new things. And um, look, Basically, yeah. Our theme is also 
about like exploring the unknown because for a while space to human beings was just something we had no idea about and so when people decided to go into space and find out what's there like we still don't know everything in space so your topic it doesn't have to be about space it doesn't have to be <laughs> about shifting new things it can be about something that you feel like hasn't been explored or something that has been explored but you want to expand and create a dialogue among your peers and faculty and people you have never met before because they're from a different state. So we encourage that you bring any of your research and come join us. We hope that uh, we hope all of you are um, interested in in sharing what you've been working on and uh, and and attending this conference with so many uh, great opportunities that we'll have to visit uh, places like it, like a local uh, art installation um, center uh, in Santa Fe, known as Meow Wolf, as well as uh, lots of other um, like local uh, cultural sites here around Albuquerque, like the Knob Hill neighborhood. Lots of interesting murals. The and and uh, and historical theaters that that we'll be planning to to allow students to visit. So hope hope you're all looking forward to uh, to that that opportunity. And definitely let us know if you have any questions. So if you guys know anyone else that has a research they would like to share, please let them know about the conference. It is going to be held in April. Tell them it is a good opportunity for them to get their research out and to network with other students. And um, just, yeah. OK, and these are all of our socials. Okay, these are all of our socials. If you guys would like to follow us um, on here, um, and we post um, a lot on Instagram, um, updates um, and things like that of stuff we have going on and reminders for submissions and things like that. Um, but yeah. And we will be posting the recording of this video up on our website. For our abstracts, the deadline for submitting your proposal for any of your research, be it the workshop, oral presentation, or poster presentation is due this Friday, December 3rd. Thank you everyone for attending and we appreciate your time. Hopefully you all will go out and apply. Thank you all.